Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be memory planning for the week of May 25th through the 31st. So this is the very last week of May. And for this week, I'm going to be using this kit from Paper Rose Planning. Um, it's a really pretty kit that I picked up a few months ago and I had always wanted to use it in May because for some reason, um, this kind of artwork and these soft pink colors just really reminded me of May. Um, so here we have the full boxes and and this is in a light gold foil, which is definitely one of my favorites. On this page, we have some icons, flags, a movie marquee, um, some deco pieces here, a weekend banner, some check flags, um, these horizontal flags, and then quarter boxes at the bottom. The third page is foiled and we have date covers, the bottom washi and some washi strips, and then these bow appointment labels at the bottom. And the last page is not foiled and it comes with half boxes, appointment labels, these headers, um, sidebar trackers, and one full box checklist. Um, I really love the formatting of her kit. I feel like this is super functional for me. It comes with lots of boxes that I love to use in my planning. So I do want to jump right in. I'm trying to catch up because I got a little behind um, just with everything going on. I haven't really felt like planning, but today um, I just kind of had a little burst of inspiration to sit down and plan. So here I am. Um, thank you so much if you are planning to follow along and I will be starting by placing down the bottom washi. Before I start talking about my spread this week, um, there are a couple things that I just wanted to share with you guys. The first thing is that I'm definitely planning on participating in the Black Lives Matter challenge. And I'm sure you guys have already seen some of these spreads, but basically the challenge is to um, create a black and white spread in honor of the Black Lives Matter movement. And I'm definitely interested in participating. I'm really looking forward to doing that, but I did start planning this week's video before I found out about the challenge, um, which is why I'm going to be doing it for my next spread instead. Dead. And um, yeah, the second thing I wanted to mention is that I forgot to bring it up in my last video, but I did do an Instagram post about it. So some of you guys might already know this, but I am planning to donate my next AdSense paycheck to Campaign Zero, which is an organization that um, really focuses on implementing policies that would end police brutality in the black community, um, which is so, so important because as you guys know, that is a huge problem that exists here. And we really, really need a change in the way that we've been policing um, because it's obviously just not working and leading to more harm than good. If you haven't already, I highly urge you to watch the documentary 13th on Netflix. Um, I just watched it last weekend and it was just so eye-opening about how policing and criminalization have so negatively affected the black population. Um, so definitely check that out if you haven't already. So yeah, basically all of your views will be going towards a great cause and I'm really thankful to have this platform and and I'm just really glad I can use it for something positive. Um, so with that said, now I'm going to shift back to my spread and just kind of take you guys through what I've already done. I placed down the bottom washi and then for my sidebar, that May script sticker is from Artbox Stickers. The This Week foiled header is from Magic Prince Co. I pulled in a foiled heart from White Deer Stationery and then I believe everything else was from the kit. I also placed down all the date covers and I'm pretty sure that the date dots I pulled in this week are from Simply Watercolor Co. Starting on Monday, the first thing I placed down is a foiled washi from the kit and I used a half box with a heart sticker from Clever Gal Crafts to mark that this Monday was Memorial Day and I have some holiday script stickers that I really like but I had used the Memorial Day one last year and so it wasn't available which is a bummer um, but I just wrote it in myself. I made some breakfast that morning so I marked that with a little mochi icon from Mochi Kichi. Then I used a to-do header with a three heart checklist to mark some things that I did that day and because I I edited a plan with me. I decided to use this little foiled planner and that's from Hazel Sticker. I put down a full box at the very bottom and then um, I moved it back to that remaining space. I used one of the scallop labels from the kit, which I think is so cute. I love that little design and the video chat sticker is in my writing. That's from Planner Just For You. Moving on to Tuesday, I first started by placing down a to-do header at the very top. Then I used this foiled YouTube icon and this was actually a freebie so I can't remember which shop that was from. I'm super sorry because I know it's so cute. Then underneath that I used a flag and layered on top of it this gold foiled mug sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark that I had made a matcha latte that morning. 
My boyfriend had to go into work physically that day, and so he went and grabbed some lunch for us on his way home. He got some Vietnamese food, and so I decided to use this spring roll sticker, which is also from Hay Soul Sticker. I put down a full box underneath that, and then at the very bottom, I used a half box and then a washi strip on top of that. I then decided to switch out the half box because I wanted there to be more pink in that section, I believe, and so I pulled in the sleeping mask full box instead. I pulled in this makeup deco sticker that was from the kit, and I embellished it using this foiled bow sticker from Chic Chic Prints. I marked that I drew on some facial tattoos because uh, my friends and I were doing our weekly Zoom costume party, and this week's theme was facial hair, so we each chose somebody famous who has kind of like recognizable facial hair, and um, I dressed up as Post Malone, so in addition to his mustache and his like little beard that he's got going on, he also has a ton of facial tattoos, so I spent so much time drawing that on myself. It was really hard because I had to do it like backwards in the mirror, but I think it turned out pretty good. So to mark our Zoom session, I pulled in this gold foiled laptop sticker from Magic Prince Co. On Wednesday, I first started by placing down a full box at the very top. Then I used a foiled header and one of these bow quarter boxes from the kit to mark that I had a training for work that morning. I then put down an IEP sticker from Lily Grove Designs to mark a meeting I had. Um, and then I went back up and put down this foiled today header from Chic Blossom Prints on top of the washi strip. Underneath the IEP sticker, I used a half box and this gold foiled bow from White Deer Stationery to mark that I finished a puzzle that I was working on. Um, this one was really hard because it was 2,000 pieces, and so I was super excited to finally put in that last piece. Um, then I did a workout, so I marked that using a gold foiled workout sticker from, uh, I think that one is from Samantha May Sticks. At the end of the night, we watched the Jeffrey Epstein documentary on Netflix, and oh my gosh, it was so disturbing and made me so angry for just the crap that he had done and was able to get away with. So I used this Angry Girl sticker from Paper Bear Co. to mark how I felt about that. And I did end up switching up my writing because I had a hard time making it look nice. Um, I think because it's like next to the coil. And so I ended up moving my writing to the other side instead. On Thursday, I first placed down a to-do header, then I used a flag from the kit with this um, gold foiled IEP meeting from Hazel Sticker to mark a meeting that I had that morning. I then started from the bottom because I wanted to just make sure I had space to mark everything I wanted. Um, so I first put down a full box at the very bottom, then above that I used a quarter box with a TV icon um, from Magic Prince Code to mark that we finished the Jeffrey Epstein documentary, which still made me super mad. And then on top of that, I used a half box and pulled in this deco sticker from the kit. It's like the pink sunglasses, which is so cute. To mark that, I went hiking with a few of my friends and then we went and grabbed some dinner. Um, we definitely did our best to social distance and just maintain the six feet apart because, you know, COVID is still going on. Um, and then we like sat outside for dinner. So we were definitely taking some precautions. That sushi sticker I pulled in is from Moji Kiji. Then above that, I used the other scallop label from the kit, which again, I think is so pretty. And I pulled in this pillow sticker from Artbox Stickers to mark that I had taken a quick nap before I went out for the hike. And then there was some empty space left above that. So I pulled in this really pretty bow divider and that's from Paper Rose Planning. For Friday, I first placed down a washi strip at the very top, then I used a quarter box and a foiled coffee from Hazel Sticker to mark that I made some Dalgona coffee on Friday morning, which was delicious, and then I placed down a full box underneath that. I used this little things from the kit to mark what I had for lunch, and then I decided to start from the bottom again so I could see how my spacing was going. Um, at the very bottom, I placed down this half box and this bow sticker from White Deer Stationery, and on it, I just marked Black Lives Matter because I feel like this was the night where everything started happening, um, the protest started, and I feel like for me, that's when I started becoming really aware of what was going on and really start to look into different things and um, start researching, and so I I just decided to leave it at that. Then above that, um, we had gotten some pizza for takeout that night. I decided to use the movie marquee from this week because um, we didn't watch a movie, so I wouldn't have needed to use it otherwise. And I pulled in this pizza girl from Fox and Pip. I added this little foiled bow to her hair, and that again is from Chic Chic Prints. In the remaining space, I just wanted to mark my workout, so I used a shoe sticker from Hazel Sticker and marked that I went on a run and then also did an arms workout that evening. 
Moving on to the weekend, I actually didn't have any extra washi strips that I could use from the kit. And so I found this leftover sheet from so long ago. I think this was one of the first kits I ever used when I first started planning like four years ago. Um, and I've just held on to it since. And so I decided to cut up that marble print and put it at the top as a background for my weekend banner. I think it actually matched the kit really nicely, so I'm glad I had saved that four years ago. And um, then for Saturday, I placed down a to-do header with a bow little things to mark that I had a chance to sleep in on Saturday morning. I used a foiled washi and then this four bow checklist to mark some um, chores that I had done that day. I did a ton of laundry that day, which was much needed, so I pulled in this gold foiled laundry sticker from Hazel Sticker. Underneath that, I pulled in a full box and then I used a flag from the kit to mark that we had a really lazy night. We just ended up watching the news as there were still a lot of protests that were going on. So we were just staying, you know, informed with everything that was happening. And then for Sunday, um, I first pulled in that full box at the very top. That was the one I initially used on Tuesday and I think it worked better on Sunday. Then underneath that, I used an appointment label with a, um, I think this utensil icon is from Samantha May Sticks and I marked that we made some spam musubi in the morning because we were doing a picnic in the park with some of our friends so to mark the picnic i used a half box and a gold foiled heart from white deer stationery underneath the half box i used a washi strip and a checklist again to mark some things that i did that day i did take a nap after the picnic and i had gotten so sunburned because we were sitting out in the sun i think my sunscreen is too old and i need to get a new one um, but anyways to mark my nap i used um, this little sleeping mask deco from the kit and then at the end of the night i did some filming so i used a foiled film sticker from magic prince co and this little instagram icon that came in the kit as usual, the last thing I do in my spread is fill out my sidebar, so I go ahead and do that. Um, I have found that my Inkjoy gel pen doesn't work very well when I switch between papers very often, um, so it was actually easier for me to fill out all of the happy moments first and then all of the dinner so I wasn't switching back and forth, um, and that helped my pen a lot. So now I'm just showing these stickers that I have left, and now a vid wiggle to show you guys all the foiling that I pulled into this spread. Um, I think this came out so beautiful, Paper Rose Planning is definitely one of my favorite shops for kits because she just has such a beautiful style. Um, last I checked, I think her shop was closed, um, but I hope she's working on some new releases and will be opening up soon because like I said, I just love her kits and I love her style and her format as well. Um, so yeah, that is it for this week's spread. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please let me know what you guys think or if you guys have any questions, I'm more than happy to answer. And as always, thank you so much for your support. I'm really looking forward to next week spread when I'm going to be doing the Black Lives Matter challenge and I hope you guys are excited for that one as well. So um, with that said, I'm going to end this video. I hope you guys are doing well wherever you are and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye!